Here at COSI, we're proud to call Columbus home. Let's go find some science around the city. Hey everyone, I'm Lauren. I'm an educator at COSI. And I'm Sarah Towns. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Experience Columbus. We are here outside of the Ohio State House, located in downtown Columbus. The Ohio State House opened its doors to legislators and the public in 1857, and the building was completed in 1861. And we don't have to go very far to uncover the science here. The stories are literally embedded in the walls. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Hi, I'm Mark Peter, and I'm a paleontologist with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources a Division of Geological Survey. I'm Dale Ganitovic, curator of the Orton Geological Museum at Ohio State University. Wow, nice to meet you both. Thanks for being here with us today. So Dale, tell us the story. Why are there fossils in the floors, in the pillars, in the walls of the Ohio State House? 400 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs, Ohio was a very different place. First off, it was under warm tropical ocean, and we were also much closer to the equator. And that sea was filled with life. And the animals would live and die and sink down into the soft mud at the bottom and become buried and become the fossils that were found when the building stones that were cut out of the limestone. So this stone was actually mined from the Columbus area? Yes, it was quarried at a quarry about five miles west of here. So in this column, we actually have a couple of very nice coral heads. Uh, you can see one right here and one just above a large one. And then there's another smaller one to the left. You also have some really nice trace fossils in this wall. If you see the modeling here, this was an unknown animal that was burrowing in the sediment and dragging other sediment down in its burrow. So that's why you have the two different colors. And the architects of the state house actually intentionally used this burrowed limestone in many places in this in the state house. So, are you ready to go see another fossil in the state house? Let's do yeah, it. Let's go. All right. So, for our audience, what is a fossil? A fossil is any evidence of a prehistoric living thing. Any kind of evidence. Usually, it's part of an organism, bone, a tooth, a shell. It can also be something made or left by an organism, like a footprint or even a piece of poop or, or a chew mark. Those are all fossils if they came from a prehistoric organism. Yeah, this is the Crown Point limestone. This is a black limestone that was mined from Vermont. This is actually one of two fossiliferous building stones in the state house. So this fossil here is uh, a snail. And this one is called Machlorides magnus. This is an unusual snail because we usually think of marine snails, whether they be land snails or marine snails, as moving around. But this one actually, as an adult, would settle in one place like an oyster and it would live its life there. So you see these spiral shapes all over in the black floor tiles throughout the state house. So how many fossils do you think are in the Ohio State House? Millions. I think it's probably trillions. Trillions? Trillions of fossil in this building? Yes, because if you look small enough, you're going to find some very small fossils. And um, there are something like 55,000 tons of rock that were used just in the original state house. So we're taking a lot of rock and a lot of fossils per unit rock. So you don't have to look far, but you do have to look close. That's right. Some of the best fossils at the State House are out here on the steps. And one of them is this animal here. And the neat thing about cephalopods is they start off as little animals with little shells. And as the animal grows, it grows more shell, then it slides forward in that shell a little bit, and it grows a wall behind it. Then it grows some more and grows a little more shell, then it slides forward again and builds another wall behind it. So if you slice open the shell, inside you can see oh, all the walls cool. that the animal grew behind it. 
Now sticking out of the back of the animal is a long skinny tube that the animal uses to pump air or water into those rooms to make the shell lighter or heavier, to go up and down the water easier. And Ohio has a lot of fossil cephalopods, including the state house here. And one of the best ones is right here at my feet. Right under our nose the whole time. Yep. This fossil would have looked something like this when it was alive. So it had uh, its head and its tentacles in this outermost chamber, which you can actually see on this fossil. So you see this part of the chamber that doesn't have any of the chambered divisions. This is the living chamber. This is where the head and the tentacles were. This is one of the best fossils in the State House tour. Thank you so much. So you guys just gave us a brief tour of the State House today and all the amazing fossils that you can see. Mm -hmm. For our viewers, if they're interested in taking a tour and learning even more, how do they go about doing that? We give two tours for the public, October and April. You can also find information on the website of the State House. There's also a possibility if you pick up one of these free booklets at the State House, you can take a self-guided tour in the back in case you can't make one of our regular tours. That's great. Science anytime, I love it. Yep. Thank you two so much for showing us around. It's been such a treat. It's been fun. It's been fun. Thank, Thank you. you. I never knew there were so many different types of fossils in the State House. Trillions of fossils and coral in the walls. How cool was that? My favorite was the cephalopod on the steps. <laughs> Me too. Well, it's true what they say at COSI, science is everywhere. Thanks for joining us on Science Tour 614.